Alright, we are out here at Black Bear Nature Area. It's not a park or a trail, apparently, it's an area. Wilderness area, and there might be venomous snakes, alligators, bears, and feral pigs. Feral pigs, yeah. So we were out here once before in June, and it's just been too hot to revisit it. The weather is very nice today. Nice. Oh, it was like 95 degrees and humid. Yeah. And we discovered we didn't have water. And we probably would have been fine. We saw um, baby alligators last time we were here. Too. Too. So that was what, three, three months ago? Yep, three months ago. So we know that there are at least, you know, three to five month old alligators out here. Um, I don't know how. I think I could take them. Ground bees. Ground bees are nesting along the trail. Right, they're not aggressive, so don't just don't approach them. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, because I was going to approach ground bees. It's the perfect temperature today, too. Banana. The bugs sound dangerous, don't they? I mean, if there's ground bees, then there could be anything, right? Exactly. That's what the bugs are ground bees. It said, most of them are, don't poke it if it's a ground bee nest. What's wrong with you? We found one. Oh, down there, just chilling. Not very big, but you could definitely get yeah. a chunk out of you. He looks like he's not concerned about us at all. No. Oh, he's doing something. Do not feed or approach bears. So, bad news, babe, we can't approach the bears. That is excellent news. I really like this spot because you know, I mean, this, I might probably play too many video games, but something in there. Ooh, look at these. Are these snap peas? Don't eat them. I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to see if it it's might be peas. Poison. Ooh. Oh. Cypress, are these things, these roots that grow out? Cypress swamp. Canopy root system. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I'm so good at nature. We didn't have any. Yeah, we're at about a mile and a half. So, but so far it's really cool. Um, you, know, so you can see boats going by, so you're not completely isolated. So we're about the halfway point. There's actually a campsite out here. Personally, I can't imagine a worse place to camp in a tent than Florida. Maybe like Siberia. <laughs> well, I mean, would you rather have the freezing cold or the humidity? I wouldn't mind either one. So It's like an abandoned campsite that maybe people were killed at? It does. This would make a great location Look, for some the, kind of horror movie. Show the woods right there. Oh. All right, that was something. Finally back to the car. 7.1 miles. Yeah, and you feel everyone. Yeah, like the first two miles, you're young and excited and stupid. And you know, <laughs> by mile three, you're old and bitter. Yeah, you're like, oh, what's gonna happen? What's around the corner? Sandwich. And then by mile four, you know it's too late. You can't turn back. You've already gone too far. And you realize that you've already been out here for two hours, so it's gonna take another two hours at least to get back to the car. But at least you have cell signal, so you can call for an emergency if you need to. That's true. We did consider if our insurance <laughs> covers medevac or something, but yeah. But it was fun. Definitely come out here if you want to exercise. Don't come out here if you want to leisurely walk through the woods. Come out here if you want to get serious and exercise. And now we're going to Bojangles. Now we're going to go have some chicken sandwiches. <laughs> we are good, so. Bye!